Western Wisconsin's first local news at 4. This is WEAU 13 News at 4. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Blau in for Judy Clark. Today, a Michigan judge made a ruling temporarily barring county prosecutors from enforcing the state's 1931 abortion ban. Much of the day has stayed dry with some sunshine, but scattered shower and storm chances return this evening. Let's head over to Skywarn 13 meteorologist Derek Dahlman with a first look at your report. The devices you may use every day could be at risk. Tech giant Apple says they were vulnerable to hackers who were even able to fully take over your device. Isabel Rosales reports on what a cybersecurity expert says you should do if you have an Apple product. The number of Americans looking for a new place to live is on a downward trend. For more than two years, University of Minnesota researchers have tested wastewater for coronavirus levels. This week, they've started monitoring monkeypox. Heather Brown shows us the technology used to test for such diseases. Steve says he's also talking about doing wastewater surveillance for polio. He says his lab wants to be prepared in case they ever need to do that kind of testing in Minnesota. Coming up next, some musicians are bringing song to an unlikely place. A concert hall, a fancy restaurant, and a church on Sunday. Those are just some of the places you expect to hear a piano. As Gabrielle Mays explains, even when the sound of music comes from an unconventional place, it still has the ability to connect with those who take a little time to sit and listen. Oaks is one of 20 part-time pianists at the Menards in Waukesha. Your Skywarn 13 forecast is next. We'll be right back. Absolutely. Well, hopefully we have a nice day for football tonight. Yeah, I'm sure hoping so, considering a couple games were postponed last night. So we'll just see what happens. That's for sure. Thanks, mm -hmm. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> when you think of trucks moving cargo from point A to point B, it might be the first thing that comes to mind. But for one Midwest show, the, d the rigs that pull in have more to offer than hauling goods. The Big Rig Truck Show is back in the Chippewa Valley this weekend. The show will feature around 90 trucks. The latest in entertainment news is coming up next. We'll be right back. If you were a fan of the television show Game of Thrones, a new prequel series is almost here. David Daniel has that and more in today's Hollywood Minute. Derek will give us one final look at this weekend's weather coming up next. After a very rainy end to Thursday, the, the sunshine today was really nice to get out and enjoy those cool temperatures. Yeah, we kind of had this smorgasbord of weather. <laughs> we had the clouds, the sunshine, yeah. and now we're starting to see some showers and storms off to the west. Like I said, if you're heading out to any high school football games tonight, grab that poncho, the umbrella. Mm -hmm. You'll probably need to at some point during those games. Otherwise, for tomorrow, uh, the forecast models have backed off quite a bit on those rain chances. Otherwise, drying out on Sunday, low 80s, and that's going to be the case through next week. Overall, very nice looking weekend. Yeah, not bad at all. Thanks, Derek, and thank you for joining us. Our next newscast is coming up at 5.